Hi, it's me, Dr. Prasad Putyalam. Continue my classes on coordination chemistry, class number 13. In this class, I'll be explaining about superparamagnetism, high spin, low spin equilibria, and magnetic properties of lanthanides and actinides. First one, superparamagnetism. Superparamagnetism, it is a form of magnetism in which it appears in small ferromagnetics or ferrimagnetic nanoparticles. That means this type of uh, magnetism, it is uh, found in mainly in nanoparticles. Nanoparticles are the materials whose size is uh, less than or uh, with in the nanoscale, what we call as 10 to the power minus 9 meter or the material which are in 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer range. Superparamagnetism, it occurs in nanoparticles which are having single domain that is composed of a single magnetic domain. That means the material size, it is uh, in between that of 3 to 50 nanometer. That means that size itself uh, comes as a single domain. If you consider a macro subject or macro uh, object uh, whose magnetism, if you consider, will be having domains. So the material itself uh, with a 3 to 50 nanometer diameter, they are coming in the size range of this that domain. That means individual uh, nano material or nanoparticle act as a single domain and uh, a large number of such nanoparticles will be there. Each uh, single uh, domains, those magnetic moment will be contributing towards the entire nanoparticles, that uh, materials uh, magnetism. Therefore, we'll be getting a huge ma magnetism, which we call as the super paramagnetism. So in su sufficiently small size, that is in nano size, uh, the magnetization can randomly flip directions under influence of temperature. That means if the size of the nanoparticle is even smaller, that is near to three nanometer or below 50 nanometer size, then the uh, effect of a magnetism or magnetic field on the particle it, it can be controlled by the temperature. A small change in temperature, it will uh, flip the direction of the align, uh, arrangement of the particles in magnetic field will flip according to the temperature change. So this time between uh, uh, flips, two flips, it is called the nil relaxation time. Normally ferromagnetic or ferrimagnetic material, they undergo transition to paramagnetic state above a temperature known as Curie temperature. Whereas the material which having super paramagnetism, it is different from uh, the standard transition since its uh, transition uh, occurs below uh, critical temperature of the material. The best example or the first example in which the super paramagnetism was invented was magamite, which is one of the ion oxide nanoparticle like magnetite Fe3O4, magamite that is gamma Fe2O3. So uh, the super paramagnetism, as I said, it was invented or this was observed initially in this type of material and they are having a specific applications. Even though cobalt and nickel are also highly magnetic material, but they, ha they have limited applications where the toxicity will cause an effect or, or the oxidizing environments are there. Therefore, these materials, mainly the magamite, uh, which is uh, non-toxic and it will not be undergoing oxidation so fast. Or we can say it is a biocompatible material. Biocompatible materials are the material which can uh, function in living uh, organisms or living things. Therefore, it can be used uh, in medicine, me medicine application or biomedical field mainly. So the main applications of super paramagnetic material, if you consider the first one that is general application, it is used as a ferrofluid. That means its viscosity, it can be tuned or it can be controlled based on the magnetism or by applying the external magnetic field, we can control the viscosity. Viscosity is nothing but ability of to flow or flow property we explain in terms of viscosity. The other applications which include biomedical applications, mainly the imaging, say magnetic resonance image uh, in which the magnetic nanoparticle having super paramagnetism is applied and magnetic separation of cell or DNA or protein or even RNA fishing, these type of uh, materials are used, as well as in treatments like uh, targeted drug delivery, magnetic hypothermia, and magnetofection. 
so targeted drug delivery it is a type of uh, supplying the drug to a targeted cell or a targeted area uh, in our body or in living things where we apply the drug usually normal drug delivery systems we consume the drug and it will pass through the blood stream and it reaches the site where it has to act whereas in the, with this materials is a super paramagnetic material which can be controlled with the magnetic uh, external magnetic field yeah, the material which is infused with the drug material it is controlled and it is traveled through the system of uh, living system and it is uh, reached uh, delivered to the target or, or the site where it, the medicine uh, effect is required so that type of uh, drug delivery is known as targeted drug delivery the second topic that is high spin low spin equilibria this topic already we discussed uh, i discussed in uh, previous classes of the same uh, class series of uh, coordination complex that is spin crossover behavior that means when crystal field splitting energy delta it becomes equal to the pairing energy of the electrons uh, in such coordination complexes the high spin state and low spin states are in equilibrium the third topic one of the important topic of uh, magnetic uh, behavior of uh, material that is with uh, that of uh, heavier elements that is lanthanides and actinides the magnetic property of lanthanides and actinides if you consider some of the uh, ions like la3 plus ce4 plus yb2 plus and lu3 plus they are having either uh, full fully uh, filled uh, orbital structure or electronic arrangement or uh, not a single electron in that that means there have no unpaired electrons hence they are diamagnetic in nature and most of the other lanthanide ions are unpaired electrons in 4f orbital so they are paramagnetic the magnetic uh, behavior if you calculate or we if you calculate the magnetic moment in case of d block elements as we seen we mainly calculate this spin only magnetic moment with this expression square root of n into n plus 2 whereas in case of uh, lanthanides or heavy elements we cannot use only the spin only uh, magnetic moment cannot be considered Uh, or even the orbital magnetic moment also we need to consider as well as the lanthanides they are also known as inner transition elements in which the electronic configure the electron filling takes place to the inner f block element mainly the 4f orbitals they are uh, shielded from the surrounding that means there is a uh, further orbitals which are covering that uh, Uh, f block elements that means it is not directly in contact with the ligands surrounding the metal therefore the orbital motion of 4f orbitals they are not restricted or they are not quenched the orbital motion also we need to consider in that therefore in case of lanthanides we can say that the paramagnetic moment of these heavy ions when we calculate the magnetic moment we does not even indicate the number of unpaired electrons in it therefore the magnetic moments of lanthanides are calculated by taking into consideration the spin as well as orbital contribution and more complex formula is used like uh, mu s plus l or mu is equal to square root of 4s into s plus 1 plus l into l plus 1 bohr magneton where l is the orbital quantum number s is spin quantum number in case of uh, these heavier uh, elements or the ions the spin orbital coupling is strong okay not only we considering the spin contribution or uh, orbital contribution individually the coupling is there they they uh, com- contribute to each other a coupling uh, interaction takes place uh, ls coupling or we called as jj coupling therefore a new quantum number j is uh, required to explain uh, this behavior that is j is equal to modulus of l minus s if the uh, uh, orbital is l- less than half full or j is equal to l plus l modulus of l plus l when the orbital is full or f- full uh, orbital is more than half full okay so this i can explain uh, with an example so the magnetic moment value of lanthanides in bohr magneton if you say we can say mu is equal to g into square root of j into j plus 1 where g is called the lande splitting factor uh, which can be calculated as g is equal to 1 plus J into J plus one plus S into S plus one minus L into L plus one divided by two J uh, multiplied by J plus one. Okay, so if you take uh, J into J plus one divided by two J into J plus one, that becomes one by two. 
the remaining factor is maintained as such. Therefore, 1 plus 1 by 2, it becomes 3 by 2. Therefore, G is equal to 3 by 2 plus S into S plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 divided by 2J plus J, uh, 2J into J plus 1. Uh, some example with example, say PR3 plus, it's a uh, electronic configuration. If you write that is for F2, that is two electrons in uh, F orbital. F is having seven suborbitals. Therefore, two is uh, singly occupied and uh, the charge also represented here, plus three, plus two, plus one, like that. So we calculate the J value. J value here, we can see here it is uh, less than half field state. Therefore, it is modulus of L minus S. Here L, we can calculate as sum of small L, that is uh, the orbital contributions. That is so one multiplied by plus three, plus again another one multiplied by plus two. Therefore, plus three plus two, that is five. Therefore, L value here is five. And the S value, that is the sum of the spin contribution. So here two uh, electrons are singly occupied. Therefore, uh, the spin is calculated half plus half, that is one. Therefore, we can uh, calculate J is as five minus one, that is four. Therefore, we have J is equal to four, L is equal to five, S is equal to one. Therefore, by substituting the values in G is equal to three by two plus this expression, we can find out G is equal to 4, 0.8 and mu value on substituting uh, with mu is equal to g into square root of j into j plus 1, we will get a value of 3.52. So from this, uh, I can say that the calculated spin, uh, calculated magnetic moment value is 3.52 uh, for that of the lanthanide. But this value we cannot conclude or we cannot give such a, uh, in, in information regarding the number of unpaired electrons as such. Because if you calculate with a spin only magnetic moment, uh, when, uh, with the number, with the value of magnetic moment calculated value, we can predict how many number of uh, unpaired electrons are there. In case of uh, lanthanides and actinides, uh, we, we will not do that, that as, as such. We uh, use the values of the uh, LS coupling, that is J value we calculated, G value we calculated, and we finally we find out the magnetic moment. Hope you understood the concept of uh, super paramagnetism. Uh, high spin, low spin uh, equilibria, as well as the magnetic properties of uh, heavy metals, mainly the uh, lanthanides and uh, actinides. Uh, thank you very much for watching this presentation. Hope you understood the concepts. Uh, do like the video, uh, subscribe my channel and uh, support me. Thank you once again.